Today in our 2014 Audi A4, we're going to be installing to Conscious ZCI 4-pole flat wiring system, part number 119250KIT. This 4-pole wiring system is going to give you all the necessary signals you need for your trailer. This includes your left turn signal, right turn signal, tail lamps and brake lamps, so it will be DOT compliant in all states. What really sets this system apart from other systems is that it's a no-contact, non-intrusive system. The ZCI system uses inductive clamps that go around your wires and don't actually pierce or tap into any of them. It just measures a current inductively, providing that signals through the control box back to our connector. Additionally, our control box has its own fuse mounted circuit, so it's going to be self-protected and separate completely from your vehicle wiring. When you're ready to use your wiring, you can just hang it out over the back. You do want to make sure you avoid your latch right there, and the wires will get held in place right between your weather stripping. This won't cause any damage to the wiring as the weather stripping kind of gives and it holds it nicely in place. You can then hook it up to your trailer and you're ready to hit the road. And when you're done using your wiring, you can roll it up and store it in your compartment here. Since this does live inside the vehicle, it's gonna be protected from the elements, but there is a dust cap included on it. So if it is on the outside, you can slip this over it, keep out any dirt, debris, and moisture. Another nice feature is when you're winding it up, you can use that dust cap to wrap around the wires and hold everything in a nice little package. We'll begin our installation here at the back of the vehicle with our trunk open. We're going to need to remove the access panels on both the driver's and passenger's side. The driver's side simply pulls down and our passenger side simply pulls out. You'll just have to get behind it and just tug it out. I need to remove our spare tire. I'm going to lift up on this panel. We'll take this out, set it aside. We can unscrew our spare tire, pull it out, set it aside, and then we can lift this cover off. Now we'll need to remove the four buckles located in your trunk. There's two on each side. If you lift up on the lever on the buckle there, you'll find two Torx screws that we're going to remove with a T30 Torx socket. We'll now repeat that for the remaining three buckles. Now we'll need to remove the trim panel located here at the back. To do this, it, the panel does just pull straight up, but to make it easier, I do recommend you peel back your weather stripping here because it does kind of overlap it and it's already a really tight fit to pull this thing out. Another benefit of pulling that back is that you can pull it from both ends because it goes straight up, so you can pull it from the bottom while also prying it here in the front. Just work your way across and we can set that aside. Our passenger wiring is going to be located right here. We'll need to take a razor knife and cut off some of that sheathing so we can separate out those wires. Now we can peel that back. We'll now get our wiring harness out, untangle our wiring, separate out the ends. We want to get our wire labeled for the passenger side which is the right turn signal. Once you've separated out the right turn signal wire, we're gonna clip this around the gray and blue wire with the arrow pointing towards the bulb. Next, we'll take our wire labeled for tail lamps, and this is going to clip around the solid gray wire. So we're gonna take our whole harness here, we're going to set it inside of here because this is where we're going to be keeping most of it. We're going to separate out the wire for the left turn signal. We're going to come underneath our panel here and then begin running it over. Once we get over to the other side, we're going to open up the panel over here, slide this wire underneath this carpeting. We'll then bring it up, separate out the wires on this side as well. And this one's going to clip on the gray and white wire. We'll now take our white wire here. This is our ground wire. We're going to use the self-tapping screw that comes in the kit, and we're just going to run it through the paneling right here. You'll do this with a quarter inch socket. Next, we'll hook up our fuse harness. This is going to hook up to our positive battery right here, so we'll need to crimp on 
the yellow ring terminal. On the other end, we're going to connect our yellow butt connector. Now we'll hook this harness straight to the battery, so take your screw off your positive post here using a 10 millimeter socket. Slide your ring terminal over the end. We can bend that down to make it a little more flush. And then reinstall your nut. We're not gonna measure out a length of wire. I just like to hold up one end, kinda eyeball the other end. And we're gonna cut out some of the black wire. We don't need all the black wire that comes in our kit since our battery's so close. Now we'll take our black wire, we're gonna strip back one end and that's going to connect to our fuse here. I want to remind you that it's important that your fuse is not installed at this point. If it is, you want to make sure you take it out. So we don't want to cause any shorts while we're running our wiring. Now we're just going to route our wire over to where our module box is. We'll strip back the other end of our wire now. Put a yellow butt connector on this end. Crimp it down. And then we're gonna crimp the other end to the black wire coming off of our control box. Now before we tidy everything up, we do wanna make sure everything's working properly. We also have to do the learned procedure. So to start that, we're going to start our vehicle. Ensure that all of our lights are turned off. So if you have automatic lights, make sure those are switched off. And then insert your 15 amp fuse. This will start the learn procedure, so it is very important that you don't put the fuse in until you start your vehicle and ensure all the lights are off. Now we need to operate each of our lights for at least five seconds. We'll start with our tail lights. We'll then do our brakes, our right turn signal, and our left turn signal. Now that we've gone through the learn procedure and we're hooked up to our trailer, verify all your lights are working on your trailer. We've got our tester hooked up and you can see we've got our left turn signal, our right turn signal, our tail lamps, and our brake lamps. We'll now take the foam strips that come in our kit, peel back the adhesive backing, and we're going to place it around our wiring. I like to make sure that the wire is kind of lined up in the grooves. Starting on this side, put my foam on, and that just kind of helps hold it straight in our grooves. And you just want to wrap it around your connector to help protect it and isolate it from the other wires. You'll do this with each one of your connectors. Now we'll just need to reinstall all the components that we removed from our trunk. And you're ready to hook up your trailer and hit the road. And that completes our installation of Taconscious ZCI 4-pole flat wiring system on our 2014 Audi A4.